What's going on, everybody? So let's talk about this whole FTX Binance thing and how this thing unfolded and how this thing transpired and where where we're going where we're going to move forward where how this thing's going to move forward. So um, CZ kind of um, set this up in, in a way that um, was actually genius, in my opinion. He instituted zero trading fees on Binance. He then came out and said that um, Binance was going to liquidate their FTT position uh, based on um, news that came out of Almerita's Al Mar um, books not being solvent. And then he, um, you know, went ahead and, and liquidated a large number of FTT tokens, which was caught on a, a scan. Um, and posted and CZ came in, came on Twitter and said, yes, that was us. He then turned around and, um, which squeezed Sam Bankman freed in FTX revenue, which, um, which was going to call cause a bank run, um, on FTT on the FTT token. Um, and then once that bank run happened, um, you turned around and you seen, um, withdrawals being paused or taking longer than expected from FTX. And then FTX um, came out and said that everybody's money was fine. Everything was going to be good. There was no problems. Don't look over here. We're all good. Um, we woke up to um, FTX suspending uh, withdrawals from its platform. And then um, we turned around and we then got the news that Binance was going to acquire FTX. Um, and that's how this thing unfolded. So basically what happened is CZ um, squeezed, you know, there was a crack in the balance sheet, which was exposed by the squeeze. And when that happened, CZ swooped in and was able to um, acquire FTX um, for probably pennies on the dollar. Um, so, you know, some people are going to like this. Some people are not going to like this. I personally think, you know, that, you know, CZ did what CZ, what any business person would do. He's seen an opportunity, an opportunity to um, expand his, his business. Um, obviously, it came out uh, that Sam Bankman Freed was, you know, lobbying for um, more regulations and more centralized Zation of uh, crypto, CZ didn't like that, um, so there was already a little rift in going on between the two. Um, but I don't think that this had anything to do with the rift. I think this was purely business. Um, FTX was insolvent, um, and we'll get to its parent company, company our, our, our El Marito. I believe I'm saying that right. I don't, probably not. But they were holding a large number of FTT tokens, more than what was actually, um, more than what the company was actually worth um, at one point, um, which means um, FTT tokens were minted for them, which made their books insolvent. But one of the other keys was Sam Bankman Fried, and is the founder of that company, and he also um, is a large holder in um, Solana, which was lent to this company as well. And keep in mind that um, CZ is not acquiring that company. So that company is still probably going to end up in bankruptcy, uh, which will probably, not probably, it will affect the price of the FTT token. And you can go back and see the price of Solana tanking um, well, well, um, oh, above what the average market is, t market is tanking. Um, and this probably has a direct effect as to the reason why, because um, the creditors for this, you know, that um, this company had lent, mo lent money out to, um, our tokens out to, are probably cashing in their tokens, knowing that um, they are probably not going to see any revenue um, from this, from that particular company um, in a, in a in a hearing so they're um, mitigating their risk which is a smart business move um so where that takes solana who knows where that takes ftt who knows um but uh it's something to keep your eyes on it's something to keep keep your um self aware of and try not to get too technical on this channel 
about everything that's going on because, you know, there's a lot of technicalities and a lot of things that go on behind these business acquisitions. But, um, you know, um, and also CZ and Binance um, did not acquire FTX US. Um, as you guys know, um, FTX US and Binance US are, ran, are basically two separate companies um, to keep it simple and break it down. And to them, simple terms are basically two separate companies operating under the umbrella of the main company. But um, so FTX US is um, is still um, under Sam Bakeman free and um, CZ did not acquire um, FTX US. This does leave the whole Voyager situation up in the air and we haven't really heard too much on that. Um, we know that FTX um, acquired Voyager. Um, do, we do not know um, what that means for um, the Voyager acquisition. The CZ now um, own Voyager as well. Um, I believe he does, um, but we will see. Uh, I believe that when you buy a company, you buy all your assets unless it's laid out differently. So we'll see how they laid that out and... Uh, Maybe CZ now is the owner of um, FTX and Voyager. Um, we shall see. Um, that's usually how these things go. Um, FTX acquired the assets of Voyager and um, Binance uh, acquired the assets of FTX. So, um, you know, CZ more than likely at this point, CZ more than likely if he does his due diligence um, and decides to go through with the um, acquisition of FTX will more than likely own Voyager as well. And let me preface that by saying if CZ, when CZ does his due diligence and research, as um, CZ tweeted out, Binance will go in, they'll do their due diligence, they'll see if this is an acquisition they want to make. Um, and if it is, they'll make it. The key is, what happens if they don't? And uh, somebody I talked to a lot about crypto asked me this question. Um, on a DM and chat, you know, what if, what if CZ goes in and says, you know, this, uh, this just isn't the right move for us, or we can't, this is so bad, we can't save it. What happens to FTX then? Um, because now they've been exposed. Um, now we, everybody knows that there's hold there's holes all over their balance sheet. Everybody knows that now that, um, their parent, one of the companies that they're connected with, is over leveraged um we now everybody is you know losing confidence in ftx so what happens to F ftx if cz does not acquire them that's a uh, going to be an interesting thing to unfold as well so there's a lot of questions here there's a lot of um things that still have to be sorted out there's a lot of um what ifs uh, but what we do know is um Right now, Binance is looking to do their due diligence and possibly acquire FTX um, on a basically on a liquidation sale. So um, this is uh, this is huge. Uh, Sam Bankman-Fried uh, decided. I I'll, I'll just give it to you guys straight on how I feel. Um, he uh, tried to play with some of the big dogs in crypto and uh, he lost. And um, he didn't, he thought maybe he was a little bit bigger than what he was. He over leveraged himself. There was holes in the balance sheet. The holes in the balance sheet were exposed. And when any holes in anybody's balance sheet is exposed in, um, in a business and anybody knows about business, that's um, prime for an acquisition. Um, CZ seen this opportunity, seized the opportunity, and took care of business. Uh, but one thing that CZ did do that I respect is he um, let the community know, he let the investors know uh, what was going on so nobody got wrecked. Well, if you got wrecked, it's because you weren't paying attention to what was going on. But, um, you know, he let everybody know. And this is something that didn't happen um, in Celsius. Um, they were exposed. They came out. Celsius came out and said everything was fine. Don't worry about it. Everybody believed them and everybody got wrecked. Um, 
So this one played out a little bit different. CZ uh, kind of let everybody know what was going on, where the holes were. Uh, then multiple news reports came out after that. So, um, you know, we're going to keep our hands on this thing. We're going to uh, follow this thing all the way through. Um, but, you know, make no doubt um, how this thing unfolded, you know, basically uh, CZ opened Binance for 0% zero tr- zero trading fees, which caused a, uh, which caused a runoff of, FTT, of F- FTT. He then um, came out and said that uh, he was going to uh, go ahead and uh, liquidate Binance's FTT position, which he has every right to do based on some information that came out that he was aware of and he was going to protect the holders of Binance so that he didn't get caught like he did got caught with Luna. And then he uh, he made up he made a sale of FTT, a pretty big sale, which caught everybody's attention. He told everybody, yes, that was Binance that made the sale um, and that triggered a bank runoff withdrawals were um moving slow from ftx um probably from liquidity issues so or network over over usage issues um so they uh they were moving them slow and then they turned around and cut withdrawals off cz came in he made everybody said he was gonna make everybody whole Withdrawal started again, um, and uh, then the uh, news came out that Binance was going to uh, acquire FTX, and they were going to do their due diligence to see if this was a company that they wanted to acquire, but a preliminary deal was in place. Um, what that preliminary deal entitles, um, you know, we shall, we may find out, we may never find out um, what CZ paid for or will pay for, or has a possibility of paying for um, FTX. Um, I'm assuming that it's probably nowhere um, where everybody thinks it's valued at, based on the uh, holes that were in the balance sheet. And, um, you know, we'll see where this thing unfolds. But what everybody has to watch is the company that uh, Sam Bankman-Free was uh, minting um, FTT tokens and moving um, Solana tokens to in El Merida. El Merida was not acquired by CZ. Um, they do have balance um, sheet issues, as was exposed. Um, this probably spooked a lot of the lenders, um, and it probably spurred a sell off of both FTT and um, Solana tokens that um, the lenders had that so that they could cover, recover some of their assets before um, this particular company declares bankruptcy. It's the only way out for them. So um, where Solana and FTT go from here, we will, uh, we'll see, we'll figure it out, keep our hands on it. But uh, with that, I just, um, you know, I came out with the news, gave you guys an update now I'm trying to give you guys another update, let you know where this thing is, let you know how this thing's unfolded. And um, my take on it is, you know, if if CZ didn't do what he did right now, we'd be looking at another Celsius situation um, today. Um, the market's tanked and uh, a little bit for a little bit. There's no doubt that uh, all these events played a big, huge role in that. Uh, starting to recover a little bit, but... Uh, there's no doubt that these uh, events played a role in that. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. And uh, let's hope we're not looking at another Celsius situation for um, all the people that have assets on FTX that haven't withdrawn them yet. And uh goes back to the thing I've been saying since I've started making these FTX videos is um, not your keys, not your crypto. Um, and sometimes these are situations that happen with these exchanges. And... Um, you know, the reason why FTX US is uh, not affected by what happened is because everything's back to one, one for one on uh, FTX uh, exchange. So they were completely unaffected by uh, 
this particular situation and you can take that for what it's worth um but uh you know it, we we we're going to keep this thing rolling we're going to keep you guys updated and uh like this channel subscribe to this channel and uh share this out and uh we'll keep our hands around it and uh I'll tell you what I know and I'll give you my thoughts about what I know and uh we'll keep everybody updated have a great night